Hi, Mike. What's up? How What's are up? you? I'm great, Tyler. How are you? All right, you so what do we have in front of us today? We got the Pentax 67. Okay, so for anybody who doesn't know, Mike is someone who's been working with me for a while, and Mike has started his own YouTube channel. How long have you been doing YouTube now? Two months. Okay, and uh, you've amassed a great deal of views and followers and love, you know. and you're like the hottest guy on YouTube now. So, so how does that feel? Well, Thank you for, for that. That's uh, a big pass to put me on, but um, it feels great. Um, I'm happy to be seeing the traction coming so quickly, and um, I'm you glad. you make a great video. Well, you do. Thank you. And you've actually Mike is the reason why I'm making this video. Nice. So number one is this is the Pentax Six Seven, which is a camera I told you when you were kind of figuring out what you wanted to shoot on that this is what you had to have. Yes. Right. Since then. This camera has kind of exploded. Exploded. Number one search camera on YouTube for sure. And the price has gone through Sky the roof. Skyrocket, yeah. Okay, so recently we did a challenge. Um, and in that challenge, Jake had to use a Pentax 67 with a strobe. Mm -hmm. And it was a bit of a disaster. It was a disaster. It okay. was a disaster. We'll link to that, uh, yeah. link to that video. But... The most important thing that I think people don't know and that they have a hard time finding about this camera is how to use it with a strobe. Mm. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, obviously there are some videos that exist, but what we want to do now is we want to walk you through how to use this with a strobe. So if right now you were going to use this with a strobe, do you know how to do it? I don't, right. but I off top wouldn't be able to because I don't own a leaf shutter lens. Okay, great. So, number one, here, this lens right here is a uh, 45. Yeah, this is the 45 millimeter. And then what do you have on that? A uh, 90 millimeter. Okay. So, let's say that Mike wanted to use a strobe on the 90. So, he can use the strobe on this camera. You have to set the shutter speed to 30. Okay. This camera will sync at 1 30th of a second okay. without a leaf shutter. Okay. Why they did that? I don't know, because who wants to really use a strobe at a 30th of a second? Yeah. But if you see right here, you see that X right there? Mm -hmm. So what you do is you take this cable here, you plug it into the in of your uh, receiver, whether it be Pro Photo, Brom Color, whatever it is. Then you take this part here, and you want to take this over to the X. Okay? You see how that goes there in the X? Yeah. Okay. So now. You can fire this at 1 30th of a second okay. without a leaf shutter lens. It'll go any Pentax lens, anything you want. Nice. You can put on a tripod or, I mean, I guess you could do 1 30th of a second handheld. But it will, it'll give you a nice image. And that's what Jake used in the challenge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now if we want to go to a whole other level, this here we have a leaf shutter lens. This is the 165. Uh, leaf shutter. I believe they have 90 as well, and, yeah. and they have some others. Now you'll notice here, Mike, on the top of the lens, you see this? Yep. So that's your port. Okay. Now the most important thing, if you use a leaf shutter lens with a Pentax 67, is there is a dot here. Okay. The dot means that the lens is normal. So it is not under leaf shutter mode. Okay. When you change it over, so let's say we go to 500th of a second, mm -hmm. okay? We plug this guy in here, right? And now it's ready to be a leaf shutter. Okay. But where the problem comes in is <clears throat> when you do the leaf shutter, you have to change your shutter speed on the camera. And this is where it gets really confusing for everybody. Wow. So you want to set your shutter speed on your camera to one fourth of a second. Now what it's doing, and, and again, I learned this all by trial. Mm -hmm. Like I couldn't find anything or anybody to explain this to me. Yeah. So I learned this all by trial. But at one fourth of a second, it exposes the mirror enough to where there's no confusion with the lens because the lens is controlling the shutter speed. Right. So you will hear two different shutters go off. So you think when you hear that, that, that it's like broken or it's not working. Mm -hmm. So you cock the lens. And now it's firing at 2 50th of a second. So every time you take the picture, you re-cock the lens, you fire. 
So you have to recock the lens as well. As yes. Okay, so let me see. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, you will see the lens will be closed if you don't recock it. So right now it's good. So okay. go ahead and fire it. It feels weird, right? Yeah. And now it's, it's, it's black. black. Yeah. So yeah. go ahead and advance. Still black. So you're, there you go. Boom. There we go. And now, that's Got it. You. It feels different, right? Yeah. yeah. So I think it's really important to know that this camera can take great pictures in the studio. In the studio. And these leaf shutter lenses are amazing. Nice. Um, but you have to do it exactly right. If you don't do that, uh, the pictures will come out black. You don't want that. No, you definitely <laughs> don't want that. So, do the leaf shutter lens a different price? Um, yeah, the as leaf, opposed to the leaf shutter lenses are a little more expensive, not astronomical. Maybe after this video comes out, the <laughs> price will go up because not a lot of people I don't I don't think know how to use them. Yeah. Um, so, I I will use a leaf shutter lens most of the time if I'm using strobes or not. Got you. you know, like when I use the 45, obviously I don't think they make a leaf shutter for the 45, mm -hmm. but for the, the 90 I have and the 165, nice. they're all leaf shutter. Nice. So like for instance, yours isn't a leaf shutter. Nope. Um, but let's say that would prevent you from having to buy a whole nother camera that you could use strobes with. Yeah. So you could just get Grab a lens reason. instead yeah. of the whole camera. Definitely plan on grabbing one for sure. Like, what is it that you, when you think of a photograph that you want to take, what makes you go with this over the RB? Well, first off, now that I'm venturing more into fine art photography, mm -hmm. um, I don't have to focus so close on, on my subject. So right. right now I'm shooting more conceptual things mm -hmm. instead of, you know, um, extreme close-up portraits. So I need to get the the full location and, and just mm -hmm. the, the environment so I'm able to focus on that easily with this camera I don't have to worry about the bellow system I don't have to worry about um, two levers to, to advance and or, or double exposed or double exposed <laughs> and does the RB fire if it has the dark slide in it no it doesn't well I'm not for my camera doesn't my okay, system but doesn't, some do but some may depending right. on how you have it set up and it's just I don't know just the 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 it's just pleasant the shutter sound of this camera is so pleasant to hear yep. it's like the ultimate film sound and would you use this camera with strobes after I just showed absolutely. you absolutely yeah yeah but yes. with a leaf shutter. Yes, yeah. with a leaf shutter. Yeah, absolutely, I would. For anybody who's watching this, check out Mike's channel. Is it possible? Can I like link to your channel? Yeah, yeah, you can link to my channel. It's what YouTube, is your channel? YouTube.com slash Mike Gray Film. Nice. Go follow, like. There's not many videos on my channel. Lots of videos <laughs> on Mike's channel, and I do make some appearances in Mike's videos. Absolutely. Um, all right. Well, that was that's the uh, Pentax 6.7 and how to use a strobe. There we go. Thank you.